the question number 180 determine the output in the following code we have one c code for this code we have to find out the output okay the first one that is hash include stdio.h this is the header file in this header file a standard input output functions like printf and scanf are present but in this program we have printf statement so we are declaring hash include stdio.h header file then this int abc is the function declaration part okay this is called as the function declaration why because here we are declaring the function that is abc of type integer and we already know that a program execution always starts from main function only okay in this main function we have a abc function so the control link is jumps to the function definition this is called as the function definition this is called as the function definition in function definition okay the the actual program will run okay so it will the controlling is goes to the function definition along with the value phi so i value becomes phi here okay i value becomes phi because the value phi is also moved along with the control so i value becomes phi okay and in that we are using return i plus plus so this is i plus plus is the post increment operator okay that means first it uses the so first it returns the i value after that it will increment so it returns i value i value is we already know that phi so it returns so it returns a phi value okay it returns a value phi and then it is incremented so then i value becomes here 6 i value becomes 6 but it returns phi and that phi is initialized to a variable that is i so i becomes phi and printf we are using printf statement so and this value that is i value that is i value is phi that is executed okay on the screen so for question number 180 option b that is phi is the right answer the question number 86 the similarity between structure and union is to define we have four options option a new values option b new data types option c new pointers and option d new structure we already knew that a structure and union these are the user defined data types that contains the data of different types okay so they are used to define new data types only so for question number 86 option b new data types is the right answer move on to question number 81 in c if you pass an array as an argument to a function then what actually gets passes we have four options option a value of the elements in an array option b first element of the array and option c base address of the array and option d address of the last element of the array for question number 81 option c that is base address of the array gets passes okay so for question number 89 the first element of an array abc can be accessed by okay we have four options for question number 89 option d all of these is the right answer why because by using abc of 0 it indicates a first element 0th position is always indicates first element only first element of the array then the second option star abc if you use an array okay as an pointer then a star abc always fetches the first element of an array itself okay similarly this is also the, this is also same as that of star abc both are same okay star abc plus 0 means here 0 indicates the 0th position 0th position is always indicates a first element of an array itself so for question number 89 option d all of these is the right answer